Hello, my crypto economic gerbils. I hope you're doing well. I have a question for all of you. When you look up at the stars, what do you see? For me, the answer is infinite resources, literally asteroids and comets worth trillions upon trillions upon trillions of insert your favorite currency floating in space. <laughs> See, this is why I've had such a problem understanding economics because to me, this whole idea of economics says that you have finite or scarce resources being allocated via an efficient market system. I've always thought of it in terms of that's one way of looking at it because the universe that's outside of us, the universe that's made of matter, you know, let's call it the materium, the thing that you can feel, touch, and see, you know, is abundant in resources when you look into space. It's just human beings are limited in the knowledge of on how to extract these resources and convert them into energy in efficient ways. So from my point of view, I've always thought that it's not resources of matter that is ultimately limited. It is the resources of the mind. It is our knowledge on how to extract these, these infinite resources at our disposal in an efficient way that's limited. And that is why I've coined the term economics of infinity. It's a kind of a counter theory and something just I wanted to get out of my head and make a little video about. So think about this and let me know what you think about abundant resources in space. How would your whole economic paradigm change if you went from economics is not about scarce resource allocation, but efficient resource extraction? Tell me what you think and uh, let me know and uh, hope to chat with you guys soon. Bye.